justification. Amen. Father God, we consider the, the honor and the blessing of the Lord to be able to be here in your midst. Father, we ask in Jesus' name, Lord, that you will pour out upon us, Lord, today, Lord, of your grace and your mercy. Lord, allow us to be able to have power to be able to speak your words. And speak your words, Lord, with confidence, Lord, that you hear our prayers, Lord. And in hearing our prayers, Lord, that you bring on the past in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that all those who are gathered up and down Saginaw and wherever they may be, Lord, that you would just empower them, Lord, as they stand in their places, Lord, as they engage with the public, as they walk by them, Lord, that they would have power, that they would have ability, Lord, to speak words of truth and life into those vessels that they speak into, Lord. Father, we pray that this would just ignite, Lord, your power of prayer in this city today in Jesus' name. So, Lord, we ask you your grace, your mercy, your power, Lord, that you would just pour it out upon us, Lord. And let this assembly today, Lord, be done in such a manner, Lord, that it gives you praise and gives you honor. So we give you thanks today, Lord, for all that you do, and we ask you to just be with us, bless us, and let your anointing rest upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 My name's Pastor Scott Beck. I'm part of the Prayer Chain Day Organizing Committee, and I want to welcome you here today on behalf of Evangelist Geneva Spears, who I have a message from. I'll play. And I just uh, am grateful that you took time out of your schedule to be here. And I hope you dressed warm enough to last through the rally. But uh, the way the day shapes up is that we're going to have our rally here, prayer over some topics, and have a special song from Lydia Seals, a local recording artist. And uh, then we're going to dismiss across the town, go to our separate prayer stations, minister to the people that have needs, uh, lead people to the Lord, I'm hoping and then come back here at four o'clock for testimonies. So I hope you can join us for the whole day and I hope you dress warmly enough to make it through the rally. We're all laborers together, right? The harvest is plenty. It's a harvest time here in Michigan. It's a harvest time here in Flint. So we want to harvest the souls into the kingdom today. We wanna to work together. This is a show of unity. This is a show of our love for Jesus Christ. We know that it's not about us, it's about him. We are gathered together today to lift up his name in Flint. And as a result, it's our prayer that many are drawn unto him. So we're just thankful that you're going to be here with us today and that you took the time for this. In uh, Jeremiah 29, seven, it says, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Why do we do this? We do this, it's, you know, we're kind of selfish. We want the city to prosper because we prosper with it. We should have a heart for this city. I know you do because you're here. We have uh, set ourselves aside to pray for the city today. And as a group united, we can shake the heavens. We can drive the enemy out of Flint. And that's what we need to continue to do. This is our 13th year of prayer chain. And we seek to continue 13 years. And this is the brainchild of evangelist Geneva Spears and our late sister Janet Kell, the sheriff's wife. And so we're just so grateful for that momentum that we have from all the years of dedication and work that those two women have had. We just wanna carry that forward. We're especially thankful for all the people who work behind the scenes make this possible. We're thankful for Pastor Jimmy and all the sound equipment that he brings. We're thankful for the Bizzles who, who bring all the chairs and the tables and come to all the meetings. We're just thankful for everybody who has contributed to this. The Sheriff is our, our biggest contributor in so many ways and we're just so thankful for Sheriff Patel as well. So, with that out of the way, I want to begin by handing the uh, podium over to Sheriff Pickell. Let's greet him as he comes. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that walking down the street, looking good and smiling sweet? 
I love that song. That's right up there with Motown for me. <laughs> Every, uh, it's really a pleasure to be here. I just love it. I look forward to prayer chain day. And uh, I think this is the sixth or seventh year I've had my jacket too. And uh, I, thank you. I, uh, Pastor Beck, Scott Beck, he thanked everybody, and he's the guy that never mentioned himself. And let's hear it for Pastor Beck. Then, of course, you know, we've got so many uh, pastors here, too numerous for me to mention, and knowing me, I'll leave someone out, and everybody gets angry with me. But uh, <laughs> I just... You know, wanted to tell you today, uh, I, it's on there for uh, our first responders. And, uh, you know, Flint is really, we're not number one in crime anymore. And uh, somehow, somehow I feel that our prayers and getting together, you know, it, it's working. And uh, Things, I, I think, are starting to get better, starting to look up, but there are still people in poverty. We still have a lot of mentally ill people. And uh, in the jail, in the jail, every single day, we have anywhere from 64 to 75% of the people in the jail are suffering from mental illness or have some sort of a mental health issue. And, uh, you know, just recently I started a... Uh, Human Trafficking Task Force, it's called GHOST. Uh, it's an acronym for Genesee Human Oppression Task Force, uh, Strike Team. In, in, in four months, in four months of operation, we've already arrested 48 people, men, 48 men and one woman for, for uh, uh, sex trafficking, wanting to have sex with 13 and 14 year old girls. And, and that's that's part of what goes on, not only in Flint, but all over the country. And uh, in, in one of those cases, that one of the men was having sex with his uh, two-year-old daughter, and, a, and, and his woman friend, not a girlfriend, but a woman friend, was allowing him to have sex with the six-year-old. That is the sickness and the perversion that we have in our community, but it's all over the country. And uh, when we talk about first responders and, and, it, it, and the police and my staff that have to get out there and deal with these people and chat with them and kind of bring them in. I was telling uh, someone the other day, uh, we all saw the movie Field of, uh, what was it, uh, the baseball picture, Field of Dreams. And... Uh, you know, so I created a field of dreams too for, for these perverted people. And you know, it was like, we built it and they will come. And even one guy was on texting and he's on the phone saying, well, is this Piquel, is this ghost? And he still came and he's arrested and charged. And you know, I mean, that's the perversion that we're here to pray for today and that we're here that we're here to help. We want to mend these hearts and mend these souls. I, I know you've got some real preachers coming with uh, Apostle Lonnie Brown and the other pastors. So I, I'm just going to say that I need you to pray for me and all of the people, the first responders, and not only in our city and around our county, but for everyone. And I know we've got some problems I sometimes wonder how some of them have got in there, but they're in all fields, whether it's nursing, the medical community, or wherever. But, you know, keep keep a, a faithful heart. And I see, you know, I, I'm just hoping, and I see the jail numbers are coming down a little bit, the arrests are down, we're, you know, we're moving down on the crime chart. So there's a lot to be thankful and thank God for. Before I leave, I wanna uh, introduce my son, Brian, uh, stand up, Brian, would you? <laughs> Brian, and, and I appreciate your support for Brian. He won the election. He's now a, he's now a judge. And uh, 
I'm the only one that has to call him Your Honor. Everybody else can call him Brian. So, <laughs> so uh, with that, I'm going to uh, let you go, and and I'm looking forward to hearing all of the songs and the and. Uh, I just have to tell you before I leave, when Janet wrote that song, uh, the words to it, what she was really saying was, no matter what they throw at us, no matter what the situation is, we're going to walk down that street, we're going to have that big smile on our face, because we know in the end, we win. Thank you very much. All right, tape to your seat are the words to this song. Janet's song, and we are going to play that presently. Aren't you thankful for her and Sister Janet Pakel? I'm so thankful for them and the seed that they planted, this, this legacy that carries on Prayer Chain Day. It's a great day. It's a great day to show unity. It's a great day to lift up Jesus Christ in our community. It's a great day to win souls, is it not? Yeah. Amen. All right. Well, we're going to get into the program, and next is a musical selection by Pastor Lonnie Brown from the Kingdom of Heaven Ministries. Thanks for joining us, Pastor. God bless you, Pastor. Let's give it up for Geneva one more time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
You know, I was talking to Pastor Beck and about being here and what an honor it is to be on City Hall ground, right? Saying to Flint one more time, Jesus is alive and well. Jesus is Lord. Pastor Beck and I was talking and, and I want to pray and then I want to close with this uh, song. There are so many questions that loom over our world, our nation, our state, our county, the municipalities. The kingdom of God is the only one with the answers. Darkness is so prevalent. If we don't turn on the light, what are we going to say when Jesus comes back here? Geneva and Janet were just beacons of light. Geneva still is. Janet is shining from the other side. Amen? What a, what a delight it is to be able to sit on these grounds and just simply say to the people in those offices over there, we love you. Jesus is Lord, and we're praying for you. We're praying for your wisdom. We're praying for that you'll have spiritual understanding as you guide this great municipality back to its glory days. Amen? And the surrounding municipalities. You know, it's really not a political problem that we have. It's not an economic problem. It's a darkness problem that we have. It's sin. And once light gets turned on, it shines on everybody. And the Bible clearly tells us if that light is going to shine, it's going to emanate from us. Are y'all hearing me today? We're to pray for them that are in authority. I think it's befitting that we have the sheriff start us off. Amen? We're praying for them that are in authority, that we might have live a quiet and peaceable life. When the righteous rule, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, they mourn. So let's pray wickedness out and righteousness in. Amen? Can I get an amen from the church? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Questions I must ask myself today. I wonder if Jesus thinks I can't hear myself. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. So many questions. I can't hear. you can. <laughs> so many questions I must ask myself today. I wonder if Jesus thinks I've done my share. Will I wake up in the morning to find regrets upon my mind? I leave a trace of my Jesus somewhere there's so many questions I must ask myself today I wonder if Jesus thinks I've done my share will I wake up in the morning to find Regrets upon my mind Did I leave a trace of my Jesus Somewhere Will the people remember my name Or forget me all the same Did I leave a trace of my Jesus Somewhere Hold that for me have I been a light in dark places? Brought a smile on sad faces. Have I shown the world that He really cares? Oh, did I live my life the way He wants me to each and every day? When someone stops. Oh, hey. 
that he wants me to each and every day. Oh, when someone stumbled, was I there? So many questions I must ask myself today. So many questions I must ask myself today. So many questions I must ask myself today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, God, I thank you in Jesus' name that you are the answer to every one of those questions. As we are assembled on this ground to lift you up, to rejoice in your name, to remember the legacy of Janet Pacquiao, and to pick up, praise God, the strength and be the undergirding of the arms of, Ge of Geneva, Father. To let this legacy carry on year after year, but not just as an event, Father, but as a lifestyle. When we leave these grounds, we go back to our several different places and we remember what you've done here today. That we are to, we're better because we're together, Father. Our, our energy is synergized around Jesus the Christ. And so, God, I thank you in Jesus' name. As the sheriff has lifted us up and reminded us that we should pray for those that are incarcerated, those that are suffering from mental illness those that are victims of human trafficking, Father. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that the hearts of the kingdom of God, your people, will come together and that we'll realize strength like we've never realized it before. We truly believe that our better days are in front of us. Our bitter days are behind us. And we are what you said that we are. Your kingdom come, your will be done in Flint as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen, amen. Praise God. Thank you, Pastor. All right, our next prayer topic is going to be against the violence and crime, and I want to invite Pastor Bizzle to come up, and he's going to shake the heavens for us. Let's hear it for Pastor Bizzle. Victory in the Word Church. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I didn't come with a topic, but I came with a prayer. The Bible says, the prayers of the righteous are very much. Amen. And I want to have us to do something different today. I want everybody to join hands. Join hands with the person next to you, behind you, in front of you. Get with somebody and join hands because when we pray together, glory to God, things happen. Amen. I'm not up here to be seen. I'm up here to pray. In Matthew 11 and 12 said, the kingdom of God suffered violent and violent take it by force. We come to take back our city, amen? amen? In the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank and praise you for this day. I thank you, Lord, for every pastor, every apostle, every leader. I thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus for prayer change day, dear Lord. We come back to take back our city. We come against violence in the name of Jesus. We come against drug addict, prostitution, cold monger, backbiter. We come against it. Hallelujah. I thank you right now, dear Lord. I thank you right now, dear Lord. Touch the Lord. Have your way, the Lord. Have your way, the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Touch somebody's heart today. Touch somebody's mind today. Touch somebody's spirit today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank you, Lord, that we are victorious. I thank you, Lord, that we are winners. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Have your way, the Lord. Somebody, hallelujah, won't be here next year, the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know, the Lord. Might be my might be your mother, might be your father, may be your sister. Glory be to God. But in the name of Jesus, we send the devil notice. Glory be to God. You will not take 
I'm a child. You will not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord, that your servant here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our next prayer is going to be for our children, for our schools. They really need our prayer, so I want to welcome to the podium Minister Vicki Ziegler from Grace Tabernacle. Let's greet her as she comes. Hey. 